It's late October, and within Lake St. Clair's adjoining canals and marinas, crappie can be found hovering serenely near available cover. Bluegill, too, are mixed in the bunch, congregating aside dock poles, boat lifts, and lily pad patches. The opportunity is a fine alternative for seasoned bass heads when the autumn wind kicks up on the big pond. And none knows better than my longtime friend and hardcore angler, John Maniachi. Testing, testing, one, two. Camera's on, fish. Start biting. How deep is it at the dock? Probably four or five feet. I'm like, normally, look at you. Look at this. Ooh, that feels good. Get off that dock. Oh boy, get him, get him, kill him. You want the net? <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's a, a white. nice one. That's a nice one. Nice white. What color you got on there? <laughs> uh, oh, you got the joker? The joker. You owe that one to Wally Marshall. Yes, I do. <laughs> He's been known to catch a few of these. <laughs> in the box. That's a start. As Minnie swings the boat around, I take advantage of the opportunity and toss my bait back in the sweet spot. I mean, that's what friends do, right? Oh, hello. <laughs> hello. I got the wrong color. <laughs> hello. Come on over here, Mr. Ooh, another nice copy. You got black? Yeah, yeah, nice one. Nice black. Very nice. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> oh, I sure it is. You're a heck of a good guy. Without question, Minnie knows where they live, and this spot of his was holding some decent slabs. I asked him to recap what the draw was. Again, I think it's just the hoist is different. There's no other docks here that have this underwater hoist. So it's just, again, something different. They go for whatever structure they can find. Right. To give us a more thorough understanding of the structure and a look at how the residents reside therein, I prepare to rig my AquaView camera. AquaView offers an optional pole adapter which allows you to attach the camera to a telescopic painter's pole thus enabling you to shrewdly probe within the cover without spooking the fish. It's helpful to see firsthand how the crappie, as well as the bluegill, hold tight around the steel structure. We observed that the fish were indeed suspended and not positioned on the bottom. Furthermore, they seemed to prefer where there were cross beams, the most complex areas of the hoist, which we couldn't see from the surface, were the sweet spots. But best of all is, we confirmed there were plenty more here to catch. All right, there's a crappie. Well, you're never too old to learn something, and Minnie was about to enlighten me with something new. Have you ever seen or heard of a black striped crappie? You can see this one's got another one of them stripes. That's what I call them, stripies. It goes straight from the bottom of the chin. It's like someone took a Sharpie and colored it all the way through. This one ends about here. I've seen them go all the way across the top of their fins. You see the little black spots on top of the fins, too. That is interesting. So with that, I did a little research. And what I found was a black striped crappie, also known as a black nose crappie, is the same exact species as a black crappie. However, the black striped possess a recessive hereditary trait, a recessive gene which causes its unusual appearance. Black striped crappies will breed true in nature and are not sterile as some specially developed hybrid crappies are, most notably the magnolia crappie. You see that little dot right next to the pole? Mm -hmm. That is actually my jig. Yeah, crappy, crappy, crappy. Oh, that's a nice one. Nice one. There we go. Nice white. Good one. Nice white. 
bobber didn't even go down. See, yeah, we're well over 10 inches. Out here with Kim, and it's fall crappie on Lake St. Clair. But in the fall, it's pretty much like the spring. I'm actually catching these fish in the same exact areas I catch them in the spring. Now, I don't fish for them during the summer because I'm a bass fisherman, and I go chasing them brown fish all over the big lake. But in the fall, when the wind's blowing, this is a great, great way to get out, still catch some fish, get some table fare. Water temperature's right around 50 degrees. That's probably the best time. Uh, anywhere you get into a marina that is close to some deeper water, uh, here we got probably four or five feet deep. We got the power poles down, settled in, um, fishing on some lily pads. The fish get right up underneath those lily pads, and it's a little bit tough if you get here too early because the, the pads are too green and they're really tough, the stems, so it's hard to get the fish out. But right now they're dying off. They'll be gone here in probably two weeks. So the, the fish can swim through them. Uh, if you get your little hook hung up on one of them, you can usually pop it right off. The stem will break, the pad will float away, but the fish are still there. Ooh, what do you got there? I don't know, talking to you, it looks like a big old bluegill. Oh, that's a nice bluegill. But that shows you the size of the bluegill that's down there. Yep. Look how beautiful colors on this bluegill. Nice size one too. Look at the size of them. While we were surveying the cover with the aqua view, we noticed bluegills among the crappie. And not just numbers of gills, we observed a fair amount of hefty ones as well. I've said it before, you can gather so much information by studying the habitat with an AquaView camera. Additionally, you can capture what you've discovered right to your smartphone by attaching an optional AV Connect HD recorder. To learn more about these products, click on the links listed below my video description. My experience has been that the crappie like a moving bait, right. even in the, through the ice. I mean, that's the, they don't like a dead bait. They like it doing something. Mm. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. I'm getting out of your way. That's a big white. <laughs> no, that's a black, too. No, that's a white. That's a, white. <laughs> that's that's a, nice, a beauty. That's a nice one. Nice. <laughs> that is yeah, a nice yeah. crappie. Walker Daddy's back. <laughs> I don't care what you say, this is fun. It is. This is fun. It's always fun to fish with Minnie. I look forward to doing it again.